Testing. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, I was saying, yeah, everyone's going to be focusing way, way harder, taking fewer risks and um, trying to be more thoughtful in their actions. Um, mm -hmm. And so you have to learn to play at that pace as well. Uh, and also mm -hmm. learn how to relax a little bit. Because, you know, in Friendlies, everyone's chilling, having a good time, right? And so a lot of times things that, like, you know, you might be overthinking in Bracket are just automatic. And then when you get to Bracket, mm -hmm. you're, like, thinking too hard about it. So, yeah, you really just got to play enough to get comfortable in Bracket. Um, and mm -hmm. also spend more time tryharding in Friendlies to get used to that mindset. Okay. So uh, we can get some games here and sort of see how where you're at and how it's going. Yeah. Careful doing that against Ike, you almost died there. Yeah. I can cheese you at zero, you know. Yeah, I do. Save me. Yep, be careful. Don't be buffering your actions, you know. Make sure that you're watching what's going on instead of uh, deciding what you're going to do before you see how it goes. Because right. there you were like, I'm going to neutral be after this. And then when you did and it didn't break the armor, you know, it put you in a really bad spot. Mm -hmm. You need to be more careful and disadvantage. You know, there's a lot of neutral teching, a lot of, you know, sort of turning your brain off when you get hit going on. You gotta stay active even when you're the one being hit. Oh, oh unfortunate. Shit. Because if you turn your brain off, they're gonna get such huge extensions on you. You know, you gotta mix up your techs, mix up your DI, um, you know, mix up your air dodge direction, things like that. You know, are you gonna double jump? Are you gonna air dodge? Are you gonna swing back at your opponent you know you have all these options right. available to you and you need to be staying active staying engaged even when you're the one in disadvantage very very important okay 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 i was i was trying to like sdi out of your moves but i i, I don't know how i can I, I can't match that if you oh uh, I have yeah, to don't match that don't worry about sdi just worry about the direction you're holding right just make sure you're holding you know uh, a direction where you think i'm unlikely to follow and make sure you're mixing up yes. as much as you can but away away from me should be your default di when you're getting hit mm -hmm. especially with a character like pit right where being off stage is not so bad because you have so many jumps mm -hmm. and a pretty good recovery 
Uh, if you have to like hold out and go off stage and then go to ledge, that's totally fine. As long as it makes, mm -hmm. as long as you stop getting hit, right? You want to try to minimize the number of times you get hit per lost neutral. Mm -hmm. Right. You can try to go above me and dare me there. It does take a little practice, though. Mm -hmm. Or you can nair the top of it. That works, too. Good, holding away, going to ledge, totally valid option. That's usually going to be what you want to do. Oops. Oh dear. Good idea, though, to avoid my uh, edge guard. Um, so one thing I'm noticing a lot is I feel like there's not enough mix when it comes to approaching. Um, first mm -hmm. off, sometimes you need to just not approach and, and let me approach and try to snuff my approach out, right? Which you're doing a little bit okay, with your yeah. like rising nares and pairs and things. But mm -hmm. one thing I'm noticing is pretty much every time you approach, you're doing like a, a rising nair, right? You're doing like a nair at me, which is a good approach option. Like it's one of Pitt's best. But at a certain point, I'm just going to catch on, and I'm just going to outspace you because I have a bigger sword, right? Or if I'm playing a different yeah, character, okay. I'm just going to whiff punish you. I'm going to dash back and then dash in and grab you. Um, so you need to mix right, up more okay. with, you know, dash grabs or tomahawk grabs, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Uh -huh. um, and just, you know, be be more mix heavy because there's a lot of nares in a row there. And when you do that, I can just sort of catch on. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes just running full stage and grabbing someone, or you know what a tomahawk grab is, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's just like an empty hop grab where you just jump and then you land, like you fake an aerial and then you grab. That's a tomahawk. So mixing in more of those is useful. Oops. Okay. I, missed, I just missed the stage. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Okay.
tried to jump over it. Mix up your attacks, you know, don't always be neutral attacking or I'm just going to go for those grabs every time. Enough. <laughs> I was trying to land on stage, but we take this. Um, yeah, I mean, that was definitely better. Uh, if you learn how to gimp Ike, that'll help you quite a bit. I'm going to switch characters, though, um, just to see how you handle someone with no disjoints. Okay. But the biggest thing is I, I feel like you need to be mixing up your approaches a lot more. Um, and then, mm -hmm. again, stay active and disadvantage. You know, don't autopilot. Um, make sure that you are thinking about what you're trying to do to get out of a situation all the time and make mm -hmm. sure you're aware of all the options you have okay You are holding towards me, almost always. Every time I hit you, i that's something that's going to help you so much. If you just start holding away from people while they're comboing you, it's going to force them to um, to do so much more to keep you in disadvantage. Because you hold towards someone, you're, you're staying closer to them, right? And if they're, you're closer to them, they get more follow-up hits. So try to create distance between yourself and your opponent once you get hit. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, good try. So low. <laughs> Nice footstool. <laughs> right. I was trying to do frame there, but yeah. we think so.
here fishing for that knee, bro. <laughs> Just trying to scare you. <laughs> no. Nice. The drawback from the side B dodged my uh, bear there, so that was a really nice catch on the landing. Are you recording the boss of this, or? What? Are yeah, you yeah, I'm recording this. Okay. Yeah, and I made sure to turn my volume up so that you could hear it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oops, it's a little too low. Oh, I see right at the no smash. <laughs> Good whiff punishes. I like that you're holding center, you're using your space. It's nice. Good advantage. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I always, uh, I never expect exactly how far that brings you away. See there, if you hold away instead of, you know, holding in or not holding anything, um, yeah. you do not get hit by that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you almost got me. No, but as you, I, as you think, uh, I've also been like more slow when it comes to playing. Like I play a bit more slow. Yeah, you were doing a lot more whiff punishing there instead of trying to force your you know, aggression on people, mm -hmm. which is good. It's really good that you have that in your back pocket, especially since you were playing for stage control. You were like holding center, you know. Yeah. You want to sometimes with that near, you want to cross up so that you don't get grabbed. Not every time, but you know, you want it to be ambiguous what side of your opponent you're landing on. If you're always going to drift back, it's a lot easier to out of shield you. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah, you're not letting me just like force my way back center. You're every single time you're going for the whiff punish, which is really good to see. That was another case where you got a DI. If you DI down and out or just out there, you do not get hit by that. Okay. You know what I mean when I say DI, right? 
your actual influence. Yeah, it's just what direction you're holding. That's all that matters. See, it almost happened again there. You gotta be careful. That's not DI, you just kinda die there. If you get hit by okay. near one like that. Oh no. Oh, I missed. Again, don't be afraid. Just put some distance between us. You know, hold away. You have so much mix-up on your recovery. There's no reason to be, like, jumping towards me. Just go low and stay the hell away from Falcon. You just you have so much more freedom offstage than he does because I only have one jump and I don't have as good of an up B or as far of one. So be careful. Yeah, I'm just calling out a jump habit there. You do a lot of double jumping off stage like that. And like I'm saying, you can just go low and just stay away from me. You don't even have to be in a position where you could possibly get hit there. Oh, didn't get the drift right. Again, stay the hell away. You have no reason. You have like four jumps. <laughs> you have no reason to be in a range where I could hit you. You could also try swinging back at me with like fair or nair to get me off of you if I'm being a little too aggressive. I, I like the idea to go high there because I kept catching you low, but yeah, you have to you have to try to go to ledge I think because I can just catch you on stage if you're in that free fall.
Nice. I like that you're not approaching it. You're waiting for me to approach and punish it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I love the weaving in and out. Good stuff. And then you choose aggression. Yeah, this has been a really good stock so far. And then you chose like a really big all-in for no reason and lost your stock for it, right? No reason not to keep doing what's working. You don't need to go for those big YOLO plays unless you're very, very sure they're going to work. Because that's just opening yourself up for no reason. When what you've been doing was working fine. I'm not saying to never go for it, but you better be pretty sure it's going to work if you're going to risk your stock like that for the chance to maybe kill someone. That was good. I like that you uh, held your arrow there. Oh, no. Double oops. So, yeah, more weaving in and out in neutral. You know, your advantage state's looking pretty nice. Uh, you're doing a good job holding center, using the space that you have. Uh, I just I want to see a little bit more ambiguity in neutral, a little more dashing back and forth, a little more empty hopping. Uh -huh. um, just, you know, make it less predictable. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be pushing it pretty far. And then obviously in disadvantage, like I said, keep away, hold away. Try not to let your opponent stay close to you and stick to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, your nares should, you should be spacing your nares so that they're almost never shield grabbable. I shouldn't really be able to shield grab them. Mm -hmm. See how I spaced my aerial so that I could always shield grab, or I, I could spot dodge your grab? Yeah. You want to be looking for moments like that where you can bait out a shield grab or, you know, you just don't want to be doing these high spaced aerials that land right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Because a shield grab is like worst case scenario against Falcon. It's very bad to get grabbed by him. Oh, okay. That's true against a lot of characters, especially characters with like mediocre out of shield options. A lot of times they're relying mm -hmm. on getting shield grabs to punish you. So like landing like that, where you're right in front of me, is and uh, mm -hmm. you're unsafe, is gonna cost you big. Mm -hmm. Uh, DI and air dodge check. You could air dodge a couple times during that. And also, if you DI away, it's just not going to happen. Not quite like that, anyway. Oops. 
Oops. Good, you mix up your roll direction there. If you roll, if you do a neutral get up, you die there. Mm. See, don't land in uh, front of me like that. It's it's just a free grab every time. And Falcons out of shield options are not very fast, so if you land behind me, I I really like have to make a guess to punish you. If you land in front of me, it's just a free shield grab. Oh, no. Yeah, that's always a mix-up you have to be aware of. You can't be swinging all the time, because Falcon does have things to beat. Uh, you're swinging. He's got his super armored side B, and he's got that down B, which has, like, a really big disjointed hitbox, so... Yeah. It's, um... It'll win a lot of trades like that, where we both have hitboxes out. Oh, okay. Yeah, these these dash backs into whiff punishes so good. You're making it very hard for me to get center stage back. Hi. 
Yeah, be careful. The reversal is always a possibility. Careful with the approaches, you know. I can whiff punish you too if I choose to be more passive. So, gotta be careful. And you're always drifting those nares back every single time. Sometimes you want to drift forward, right? Cross me up, you know. Make it ambiguous. Okay. Then I can maybe whiff. Uh, maybe I whiff a shield grab, and then you punish me for that whiff. You know, mm -hmm. force whiffs make it harder for me to punish you. I was just been. I've been uh, uh, following that. Uh, that those notes that you left me on Metafy, so. Cool. That's good. Yeah, you're doing good. There you go. See, that time you crossed me up, so I couldn't punish it, right? You see how much harder that is for me to deal with? Mm hmm Time, you know, you've been swinging back a lot, so that time I bet on it and just waited. Mm -hmm. Another DI check. Yeah, down throw, up air, knee. Never gonna work unless you're DIing like in or not DIing at all. So DI out. Right. I know you're afraid of dying, okay. so you hold in, but like that's just gonna let me hit stronger hits on you and keep it going. Okay.
Good DI. Yeah, that's very easy to die there if you don't DI it correctly. That one, however, not really. You just can't get hit by Nair one. There, I have no jump, no air dodge. You really should just go off and hit me. Oh, uh, okay. Nice. Wow. Well timed. Okay, then. You tend to roll a lot in that situation. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't really cost me much to go for, right? It's kind of hard to hit pits recovery consistently because you have a bunch of mix-ups, but I'm mm -hmm. always going to go for that if I have a chance. Yeah, mixing as much as you can is the only thing you can really do. Sometimes you're just going to get dared, though, if you get put in disadvantage. It just happens. Mm. Good spacing. So you're doing a lot of dashbacks, and then eventually I can just catch on and then go further than I thought I needed to, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what I did there with that near one. So you want to make sure you're, you know, it's all about mix at the end of the day. You can't have these recognizable patterns in your play, or they're going to get exploited by good mm -hmm. players. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, the fact that I got three near ones in that game, right? It's your movements be a little bit predictable, right? You dash back and forth on the ground and wait for your opening, which is good. It's a good basic game plan to have, but you need to be, you know, again, mixing more. Go for more burst options. Go for more anti-airs on my jumps, you know. Things like that. You want to create space and you want to be unpredictable because the more predictable you are, the easier it is for Falcon. Okay. Good anti here. Good whiff punish. It's the same thing. You you dash back and then you do a turnaround to try to whiff punish. And if I just predict it, I can hit those near ones on you. Mm -hmm. You'll see it uh, when you watch the VOD. You'll see those moments I'm looking for. See what I mean? So yeah, now I've caught on to a pattern, and so now you're getting a little bit blown up, right? Um, so I'm hoping that when you go back and watch these uh, replays, you really like look for those moments that I'm finding, and start to see the patterns in your own play, right? Because that's where you know good players are really going to exploit you. Half the game is building really good habits, right? Um, but the other half is breaking habits and, and trying to. Uh, like, even if a habit is good, it's still a habit, right? So you need to be able to break the habit on the fly and uh, and change things up. So it took me a little bit to catch on to, like, where the opening was. But now that I've got it, you need to change what you're doing. You know, you need to have more strategies in your back pocket than just this, like, whiff punishing strategy you're going for. As good as it is, it really is good. and It'll win you sets. 
Um, it can't be your end-all be-all. You need more in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Caught my foot. Oh, I got lucky. Good, nice. Yeah, you're you're poking at me more. So when I would normally expect a dash back, you're changing it up now. I'm getting these. You're getting these down tilts, these fares. It's really nice to see you switch up your strategy a little bit. Nice, good arrow. Nice. There we go. That was a really good game. Playing really, really well. Thank you. All right, we got one more. One more, one more. Yeah, I'll go back to Ike for one. Oh, can I change my character too? Sure, whatever you want to do. Okay, cool. I need to get some Palu practice in. Nice, yeah, that's definitely a good matchup for Palu. No, I, um, when I was playing Palu, I realized he's really similar to Pit in a sense where. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in a sense where, like, they're very similar to each other, I guess. You know, yeah, like, they both have very good player. rising nair pressure, really, really good aerials, mm -hmm. um, good but um, but the game, recoveries. But the game plan are significantly different, though. Yeah, I would say a little bit different, but, uh, similar enough that it shouldn't be too hard. Mm -hmm. Their kits something are definitely old, made to like new. echo each other. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Right. Yeah.
Good ass check. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> it's all about breaking space with her. I like the uh, high teleport to avoid the eruption there. Yeah. You're doing a good job waiting for the get up attack as well. Mm -hmm. Whenever I miss tech on a platform. Mm -hmm. Good games, man. I, I think you're getting a lot better. Uh, I think your whiff punish is game is really, really strong, and you're doing a good job of making sure you hold center whenever you get advantage. So your advantage is looking really, really solid. Um, the only issues I'm seeing are a little bit of laziness and disadvantage. Laziness isn't the right word. Just you know, not being as active as you should be, and then yeah. um, and then a little bit of predictability in neutral, right? Like your general game plan is good, but you you need. Uh, more depth and you do adapt to your opponent a little bit more okay yeah thank you by the way yeah no problem okay. um yeah you have any questions before we uh, wrap this up um i do have uh one particular question though is this like so like when I'm in, so like when you're in disadvantage or when you get hit in disadvantage, it's like, um, it's like how do you? Not I want to say like get out of it, but like I've been trying to like to like SDI out, and every time I try to SDI out, you still have managed to hit me anyways. I'm like, how? Oh. And then you just like ask myself like how like how was able to like how was able to do that? And it's like I don't I don't really know what for like for that don't. particular question. I, I don't. Don't worry so much about SDI right now. Right now you need to fix your normal, your DI, just your normal directional influence. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you are by default just holding away from your opponent whenever, mm -hmm. you know, you have the opportunity to. Um, because it's mm -hmm. it's holding in or not holding anything at all that's getting you blown up by like Falcon or Ike a lot. You know, you got to mm -hmm. make sure that you're creating distance wherever possible. Obviously, there's special cases, you know, where holding out is bad and you want to hold it in as a mix-up, things like that. But you just got to make sure that you know the DI of, you know, the combo. Uh, and you do your best to just, like, have a rule of thumb for holding away. You know, make sure you're holding away okay. from your opponent more often than anything else. Okay. Okay. And that, that'll Thank get you, you out of a lot of stuff. But then sometimes they'll adapt to you holding away and they'll have something for that. So then you'll have to hold in, or you'll have to hold, you know, down, or it, it, there's no one size fits all solution. But away should be your default, and then you should adapt from there. Okay. So let's so basically is to start to build the disadvantage tree. I guess you could say the disadvantage route. Something like that. Just focus on one disadvantage. Yeah, so just, you know, be unpredictable, but your default should be away. Okay. All right. All right. So you can DM me with any questions you have now. I, I'm going to get your VOD up, and uh, I'll shoot that to you shortly, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Have a good one. Have a good one.